What's going on, you beautiful people? This is Bizarre Repairs, and I'm your host, Brian Bazaar. So, today I'm voicing over this video because my kids were yelling in the background. So, um, sorry about that. Anyways, today we're going to be installing the Samsung SSD T7 Touch in my Tesla and replacing the 128 uh, gigabyte flash drive that's on the inside. Now, why you want to do this, um, it's just better. Um, so, flash drives tend to go out a lot quicker um, than SSDs. Um, SSDs read and write a little bit faster, and it's um, a lot larger. It's, you know, 500 gigabytes. This is definitely something you don't have to do, but it's something I want to. Um, also, I was getting a little glitch with my flash drive, um, so sometimes um, I reformatted a couple times and um, it didn't work. So I went ahead and purchased the SSD, and we're going to go ahead and get that installed. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, get this thing unboxed. We'll check it out, and then we'll get it installed. So uh, while I'm unboxing this, like I said, um, I would have an issue where when I'm playing back my videos in Century Mode, it would just skip over um, the the time in which I wanted uh, the video to play. Like that little red dot, it would skip about 10 seconds above that. Um, so I don't know if that's something with the flash drive or something with the uh, Tesla software. So um, we might as well try out the flash drive here. I mean the uh, SSD. All right, so this is the Samsung T7 Touch. You don't need the Touch. Uh, I don't know why I bought this. This was probably just an accident by me because there's no point um, for the Tesla to have the fingerprint authentication unless you want that. So I'm not going to set that up at all. So just looking uh, around the SSD, there's just one uh, USB Type-C port. It's very light, very compact. This is perfect because um, there's not a lot of room in the glove compartment. So you definitely want an SSD that's reliable. Um, and that's small and um, doesn't have too many um, cables connected to it. All right, so now we're just going to open up the box and then check out the cables. Uh, it does come with two cables, which is USB Type C to Type C and a USB Type C to Type A. So that's great because we're actually going to be using the Type C to Type A cable. Just open up. The cables are nice and thick, um, really um, good quality cables here nothing cheap but as you will see later in the video I actually need to get a, a shorter cable so I'll find one that's a little shorter alright so this is our um, type C type to type A connector you can see you can just plug in like so and then we'll be able to plug right into the um, glove box of the Tesla All right, let's just get that unplugged, and we have our other uh, cable there. I will be testing this cable as well, but um, I won't be using it. All right, with that said, let's go over to the Tesla and uh, get this in. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and pop open the glove box. Let me just turn away while I put in my pin here. All right, so in the upper uh, left-hand corner, you're going to see your 128 gig Tesla flash drive, and it's got a nice all-metal casing. So you're definitely going to want to keep this. You can use this for anything else or just a backup if the SSD ever goes bad. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and uh, remove it. I didn't find an eject button for this, so we're just going to go ahead and pull it out, just like so. Easy peasy. Like I said, it has a nice all-metal casing. Um, you can keep this. You can format it again, keep it as a backup. You can see the little um, camera icon disappeared after you pulled that out. And these are the two USB type um, C ports that I'm actually going to test on the SSD first. So we're going to go ahead and just plug in the USB type C to type C. And once again, you probably won't be doing this. I just want to see if it does work. Um, down in the console here. It's just one of those things I was just curious about to see if uh, if it works or not. So the light comes on, that's good. And now let's swing over to the screen and see if we can format this thing. Alright, format. So it's definitely detecting it. So let's see if we can format it. Perfect. Yes, and it did format. 
and um, it was off camera but the light did start flashing and look we do have our uh, camera icon so you can uh, save footage and launch your viewer all right like I said um, you definitely want to keep this in your glove box but some people may want to keep this in their console so it is good to know that you can use the USB type C to type C um, cable and um, keep this in your console concealed if you if you would like um, and, but like I said I'll be doing mine I'll be putting mine in the glove box so I'm just reviewing the footage just to make sure and yeah it looks like it, uh, it looks pretty good and it's not skipping alright so let's just go ahead and disconnect the cable remove that on both ends okay now we're gonna grab our other cable now this is our type C to type A and then just get this all hooked up and we'll do the same procedure again okay that's the wrong way let's get that put in correctly just like so alright lights gonna come on again let's just reformat again perfect and then you'll see the lights flashing on the Samsung and then it goes solid letting you know the format is complete and then there's our camera icon is back which is what we want okay, I'm gonna save the footage and then launch the viewer just to check it make sure I can play it And looks good doesn't look like it's skipping and I'll be monitoring this I'll have to um, check the sentry mode settings uh, or actually let the sentry mode go off and uh, and play through and see if it skips again and if it does then I know it's a software thing but hopefully it was the flash drive okay so every, now everything looks good now what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna throw some double-sided tape now some velcro would work really good here I just don't have none um, so I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape to kinda hold it in place um, so that'll that'll keep it in place there and I also want to get a smaller cable um, later on as well just that cable is just a little bit too long okay I went and got some double-sided tape and some alcohol wipes just a rub on the back of the SSD just gonna peel off the tape and like I said before, ideally you want Velcro would work really well, but uh, I don't have any. So we're just going to throw on some tape, and this should stick pretty well. And the tape is not um, sticky enough to mess with the, the little um, carpet that it's kind of sitting on. So we're just going to peel this away. Right now I'm just going to fold it and just get it situated flush all the way as far left as I can and just kind of press it down. And then try to situate the cord as uh, best I can until I can get a smaller cable. You just don't want this thing moving around when you're driving, um, especially tight turns. You don't want it moving around and then accidentally disconnecting the cable. So you definitely want to mount this down. And it actually feels really good. That tape actually um, is holding better than I thought. Without it being Velcro, that's actually pretty good. You can see I'm kind of touching it here. That thing is stuck on there really well. So that's not going anywhere. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'll find a shorter cable later. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's how to install an uh, SSD in your Tesla. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.